All right, we are recording. So yeah, you sent your the last one you did to your parents. Yeah, I sent the last one to my parents. What did they think? <laughs> Um, they asked they a few say, questions. They, they, hey, they can said, you cut this? It's long and boring. No, no, they wouldn't say that. They were watching the they were watching the Bills game when they were watching. Uh, we're talking about the last video we shot, but we're back again, doing another vlog. Whoa, vlog practice Without on my test channel. Yeah, I forgot to bring the hand straps, um, so hopefully we don't drop the camera. We'll have to be very careful, huh? But you can get them fixed. It's not the end of the world. Just so cost Josh, a couple grand. Where, uh, where are we? This is a very interesting neighborhood, hey? Yeah, um, here we are in Shao K1. Can't see it because it's reflected. Oh, there it is. Shao K1. On a Sunday. Uh, it is a Sunday. It's a pandemic Sunday. Um, versus a regular Sunday and a pandemic Sunday. So the last few Sundays, well, namely a hundred and some Sundays have been pandemic of sun Sundays. Sundays. And it has an MTR station, so oh, if you want to get good. here via the MTR, it's quite easy to get here. This is exit A2, if you want to know. There you go, exit A2. So, um... Why are we here? What are we doing? We're here for food. Are we? And okay. for walking. And for discovery of new places. All right. This is Hong Kong Island. Oh, let me hold that while I do the strap on my bag. Okay. Speaking of straps, I, I found the hand strap, which was good because it's like a little tether. So if you drop it, it won't hit the ground, but then... But then you forgot to bring it today. Yeah. I uh, forget... I mean, it's kind of like gear that I don't use often. So the more you do it, the more you remember and you, in your mind, you come up with a checklist of what you need. Let's talk about, let's talk about exit A2, which we just passed next to this uh, Hai Hing. That's exit A2. Okay. And this is where you go when you decide to perhaps hike uh, yeah. Dragon's Back, but then you don't want to actually Uber all the way there. All right. So These if you want to save buses. a little bit of money and be economical, um, this is where you catch a minibus. Also it goes to... Whoa. That's the minibus that's about to hit you, right there. It also goes to Check Out and Big, uh, Big Wave Bay, which is one of my favorite beaches in Hong Kong. This might be another one turning in. Yeah, almost. Well, good thing the granny got out of the way. Okay. Cross the granny. Let's have a look at this. Splattered. So if you were to get the MTR there, you would just walk across, right next door. And here you go. So uh, actually I've never done Dragon's Back from here, usually I get there some other way. I think, back is nice. I think I take a bus from somewhere else. So that would be exit A2. And now where we're going to slowly walk to is exit B. I can't remember if it's exit B2 or B1, but that is the very famous food street. That's arguably one of the best on Hong Kong side. Okay. One of the best food places. One of the best, not even food places, food streets. Food streets, okay. Or food places. That sounds good. And um, best being what? Quality of food? No, well, Value? Yes. I would say value versus quality of food, but also I think um, uniqueness as well as taste. All of those. Okay. So it's a good place to eat in Hong Kong. I quite like being economical, especially with this pandemic. In fact, I think the government is going to give me uh, some money because I'm a, uh, I qualify as a uh, arts profession or something that's been impacted badly by Is that uh, right? By, so you uh, actually get money? Yeah. Because I have a registered business as a photographer and a photography company and uh, they're going to give a bailout for certain industries. How big of a bailout? Like 5,000 Hong Kong which is like 500 US or something isn't For it? a month or just a one-time Just a one-time. I see. So it will buy me maybe um, a fifth of a camera or something? Yeah. I was just going to say a fifth of a camera that I'm holding right now, right? 
or uh, half a month's rent. Not much, but uh, it's free money. Oh, nice smooth pan, by the way. I'm learning from you. Josh, what time is it right now? Well, you could go up a little bit, see? That's more interesting, because ah, the road is taking up half the frame there. But if you pan up a bit, or tilt up, I should we say. We don't want the road to take up that much of the frame. Yeah, you can see a bit more of what's interesting, which is the actual street. So we're about, I reckon, 45 minutes away from sunset. And about oh, that right. much time until all the restaurants here have to close. Yeah. So, well, they stay open for takeout, right? They do, yeah. But we would have to eat in the park That's okay. with a whole bunch of other people, which kind of is interesting. I have a better plan, but we can talk about that pandemic. one. Yeah, yeah. You know what we should do, actually? We should um, not burn out the entire hour and then get a little more at sunset, and then especially when we're walking down the oh. water. Well, I have a spare battery and a spare marine card, oh, so okay. we could probably film for th three hours if we really wanted to. I see. Although that'd be a lot of filming. So I think we should go there because this starts here. The uh, beginning of the very interesting food street that we're going to be exploring. All right. So we better get the, the street sign so people can find the place. I think this is it. We're just looking for exit B anything. Cool. Well, like, tell us more feedback on the last video we did. The last video? Yeah. So your parents watched it. You didn't edit it. Yeah, so one of the biggest questions was, hey, this is, this is very nicely done. Um, how come your voices are so clear? And I said, well, Josh is a professional. And then they said, uh, who's actually filming when both of you are on camera? And I said, actually, <laughs> um, we were holding the camera. Yeah, it's proper blogging style. Although a high quality blogging style. Which I've been testing on this. Oh, your tag's up. Thanks. There you go. Do you want to take it for a second? I can explain exactly where we're going. Sure. So if you want to zoom over there, all right, uh, what, what are we looking yeah, at? Yeah, so we're right outside of uh, exit B. Whoa, this guy is aggressive. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wasn't very happy with the uh, minibus. No. Um, very happy people. So look, um, there's a lot of people stockpiled here. Why is that? It's because this place in front of us is arguably the best egg waffles in Hong Kong. Oh, egg waffles on Kang Sheng Lane. Arguably. Okay. And then next door, so this is what I mean by the street food, right? This entire street is very well known for tasty, um, yet authentic street foods. Oh, cool. Um, I've never actually been here. Really? Maybe you want to get the... This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cam, Kang Shan, Shan Lane. So if you're hungry, and you're in Hong Kong, look for this crowd of people. And um, mm -hmm. egg waffles. It must be very popular. Um, very popular. Well, why is it so popular? It's just egg waffles. Well, let me tell you what's really good about the air, uh, egg waffles here. So the texture one is outstanding. What makes it very, very good is some egg waffles, they're too thin. Some are too thick, meaning that the inside and the outside are either too crispy or too soft. But this one, it has a beauty of where the outside stays crispy and the inside is soft, which uh, is a very satisfying eat. Well, we should go get one and... Um, yes, we should. Talk about it. Since yes, we should. Since this is a proper YouTube channel with good content. It's a 10 minute line, so we should start soon. How about over there? But, um, but surely they don't close, right? Because no, 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 uh, no, no, no. They will, they will close. It's not a restaurant. At, you know, question mark o'clock. What time? Question mark. I don't, no, I'm that would sure be open do. quite late, right? Yeah, exactly. Because uh, 
The restaurant's closed, but they can still serve takeout yes. during this restriction time. Um, so for anyone who wants to visit this neighborhood, it's exit B1. Okay, so exit B1. Very, it's so convenient, this place. You've got all the MTR exits. Walk up these stairs. Take exit B1. And then you, you're right here. You get the best egg waffles in Hong Kong. Um, but besides egg waffles, I'm eyeing Indonesian satay house. This place is Looks very sought after as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite popular too. Oh, and that's not all. So that's Indonesian satay house. A waiting area and a queuing area. But right next to it is also this other snack place. And that's not even the egg waffle. And you know, over here we have sweet drinks. We have my drink, bubble tea. Actually, uh, sort of popular too. It doesn't have the as big a crowd, yeah. but I guess it's not a uh, sweet drink dessert time right now at five. I bet you, I bet you later on, I bet you later on there will be. Now, if you look at the prices in this neighborhood, you won't find these kind of prices for desserts anywhere else. As in they're cheap or they're expensive? Yeah, as in they're cheap, very cheap. So let's see, oh, it is cheap. So a double milk tea is $19, okay. that's pretty good. Exactly. It's usually double the price, right? Yes. And uh, looks like some ice cream for $12, but like fancy ice cream. So, um... I think it's in a restaurant's interest to, to serve cheap food because then they get a bigger turnaround and then they can order more at bulk, um, keep the quality high, and then more people lining up kind of draws more people to want to come and eat it. So rather than charging as most, like the most you can, it's called uh, charging what the market can bear. You charge as little as you can and then that's like a way to maximize your profits. It's volume versus margins, right? Yeah. Yeah. China um, loves this uh, strategy. I think it's like the McDonald's strategy because the McDonald's uh, try to charge their food really cheap. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They try to have a lot of stores. So if we go down this neighborhood here, all right, this starts the very famous. So we're not going to get the egg, egg plant. Uh, egg oh, we thing? we will in a little or while. Or later. Right? All right. So you're going to have to stay tuned. For us to do the taste test. Whoa! All right. Well, I was here before. Oh, you've uh, been here before? Uh, like an hour before. Got here a bit early. I see. Had a bit of a walk. Where did you go when you were waiting? I was stuck on a bus. I uh, literally went to the park and stretched my back because my neck is like so tight. I see. Um, but it's tight, but it's been relaxed by chiropractic care. So now it's like in a tight but relaxed sort of feels good but it's like still stiff she give uh dr L but i don't a have a well he he, he kind of fixed it for me well his his uh colleague yeah his colleague fixed it. yeah um loosened it up it feels great now before i was having a splitting headache so yeah it's so nice now i do quite like chiropractic and i am a believer in it although uh it's not a magic fix either There's one more. Right now, the lines haven't really built up, surprisingly, yeah. because it's the last hour. But they don't do take eating either. They don't. I think these places, like, let's go one more hour when the sun goes down, it's going to be much, much, much more busy. This, for some reason, is like a. So, very common in Hong Kong oh, are these. I quite like, like these. Yeah, like Sansa or something like that. A closer look. So, what this actually, I don't know why this one's so famous. It must be like the primo variety of these kind of restaurants. So, what happens here is you get maybe two, maybe three, and depending on which one you get, they charge you a fixed, very cheap price. Yeah. So cheap it's uh, concerning. But, also no, very because good. they're. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet, right? They uh, 
I only have to make a few dishes. Uh, they don't have to make it on demand, so they can make it at scale. Therefore, the cost is lower. You should run a restaurant. I like economics. Um, it's interesting. And like you think all you can eat restaurant, how, how are they going to make so, mu so much money? You're going to go there and eat all you can, but because um, they only focus on a few certain dishes and they have a lot of people coming in, they can make money just as if they had less people coming in, but they were making each dish on demand. Mm. So that's a similar concept, except it's not a buffet, you pick three and you get a set amount. This place is... I'm pausing because I actually don't know. Looks very good, quite popular. You can read the Chinese, right? Yeah, too lazy. <laughs> I think is it I this? like I like this kind of Chinese where you can read read it. <laughs> it says yet one, yet dip. See? Is that pronounced correctly? Probably. I think yet means one. Yet one. Yet dip. I'm uh one person, one plate? Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yet one. So I tell you something. Uh, the people who just walked by, they're looking for Hoi Lam guy. Oh yeah. yeah and there's know. there's two famous places here for that. But the last time I was here, I had the best beef brisket noodles I've ever had in Hong Kong. Oh. And what makes it the best? The taste, the tenderness. Um, it wasn't too light. It wasn't too um, salty. It was perfect, and it was from right here. Oh, okay. Better show the uh, sign so you can see it. Well, it's not very legible in this angle. I think their lighting's broken. Yeah. Was it from there? Maybe it was from a place a uh, couple, couple shops up. Oh, another sitting area. These are quite popular in Hong Kong. Very off topic, but um, since we're here, it's an area where you can uh, just, it's like a park, you can sit down here for a bit. And who would come hang out here on Sundays, Josh? Uh, well, a lot of domestic workers, um, mm. a lot of people from uh, Philippines and Indonesia, they come here to work and uh, be helpers. Uh, I think you could call them maids, but I think it's not a politi politically correct term. But anyway, they are maids, they help, you know, help people, houses, cook, clean. Uh, and domestic helpers is probably a little more political problem. Yeah, domestic helpers. So, uh, yeah, they will, they're here. The wages are better than what they would get in their own country. Although in Hong Kong, you'd consider it quite low wage. But still, they're better off coming here, working, and sending money back home. So, yeah, which most of the money, I believe, they do send back home. Yeah. So, um... Today is their day off because they usually get Sundays off um, and they don't have their own homes and stuff because they actually live in the house that uh, they're helping. So um, they don't have a place to go. So therefore on Sundays you'll see a lot of them out in the parks, uh, just having a good time chilling out. And they are, they're also um, quite friendly. Mm. Like people from the Philippines and lower income and they're just really friendly people. And, like a lot of Hong Kong people treat them really badly, like their employers, which is a bit sad. Not all, but there's just some isolated cases where uh, they haven't been treated well, and it's a bit tragic. That's sad. Yeah, it's really sad. They're I mean, they're over come here over trying to make a better life for yeah, their and they come over to help someone else's family, yeah. bring up someone else's kids, where they they've got their own kids back home. I mean, life and reality is can be quite tough sometimes. This whole uh, class structure that we have in this modern life, I think it's like quite unfair and quite tough, but that is the way life is. Life's not meant to be fair. But I think a lot or of them do come over here and they, they have a, I don't know, a bearable or positive experience. I mean, there's entire, there's entire uh, employment agencies that focus on, focus on domestic helpers. Yeah, and um, 
Because I quite like economics. Uh, no one's pointing a gun to their head saying, hey, you have to come here. They are here, in a way, from their own free choice. Mm. Um, and they, you know, if they're rational, they would choose to come here because it's better than staying there. Mm. Um, in a way, like, I mean, it's, they're not, they didn't choose to be born in that society or whatever, but they're making the best of what they can. So, um, yeah, what am I trying to say? What's my point here? Sean? Your point <laughs> is that, well, what I gathered from uh, your, your, your spiel just now is that one, life is not meant to be fair. Two, um, while some domestic helpers have faced difficulties here in terms of treatment from their host families, I guess you can call them their host families because they do live full time with these people. Um, others have found it a very plausible way to send extra money home and, and, and make more here, bank, and then send it all home so that uh, their families can have a better life. So Yeah, and, and, and they're better off. It. They're better off than if they didn't come. So It depends on your definition of better off, but for the most part, yes. Yeah. Check out this beautiful one. temple over here. So we've got the temple. We can't go in, but we can get closer. Let's do that. Yeah, it looks so very... I think this is one of those things you have to read the Chinese from the right to the left. It looks very closed. Can you read that? 2022? Uh, up, up there, you mean? No, I meant the sign about why it's closed. Oh, it says... Uh, uh, I actually don't know. It's very Hong Kong looking, though. Mm. A lot of detail up there in the... And the roof and stuff. What a beautiful temple. I see we go back and get to one of those egg waffles. What do you yeah, alright. We're now doing our food blogging. We might as well check out our options should we choose for a quick meal in the next, let's see. Oh, let me just double check the recorder's minutes. recording. I get really paranoid. Okay. Can you just make sure that there's a red light on top? Uh, yep, there is. Where, where do I actually see the red light? There, but it's not very bright. Oh, I see, but you can tell. Yeah. You can barely right. tell. That's a design flaw, huh? Uh, like that red light. A bit brighter, I guess so. Yeah. Or we'll make it blink or something. Because then you can tell the contrast between the thing on and off. Uh, Josh, these are some be famous uh, what are we looking places at? that we could think about. Like this one? Because we have 45 minutes until they close. They or do stop close? serving. No, but they let you take. Oh, you mean go in and eat? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, we could always take out in 45 minutes. You're right. But then where are we going to eat, though? We're going to have to uh, eat in the park. Well, the last time what we did was Julie and I walked straight that way, and you hit water in about five minutes. Oh, right. Yeah. Eat by the water. Could do. Um, okay. So far, the two videos I've done with you, Sean, are us trying to find food. <laughs> Like true hunter-gatherers. Not sure how true we are. Hunter-gatherers usually hunt for their food. Yeah, but... We are hunting in a... Hunting in a, in a way modern that society. you have to go and find it. <laughs> our, our weapon last time, remember what our weapon last time was? It was an e-payment platform. Yeah, and maybe today we are using a, the fiat money system. Nice. In Hong Kong dollars, that's our weapon. Hong Kong dollars. I have a few bullets. Ah, this place looks spicy. Crayfish. Yeah, so this is Shanghainese? Very Shanghainese. Or is it Hong Kong Shanghainese? Okay. Uh... I think you're right though, because people stand outside of these restaurants really attract attention. Yeah. The more people you have outside, the more other people are curious. It's human nature. If I was going to do one of these restaurants, I'd have one menu on the, on the, uh, I'd have one item on the menu like that I sell as a loss leader. Like I'd <laughs> sell it for really cheap just to get people to come here. And I'd make up the profit somewhere else. Because it's a talking point, right? Like I, 
I'd do like 10 cent skewers for like just the cheapest skewer, like chicken or something. That'll get people in because they're not just going to eat chicken, they'll eat like beef and then they'll have a pork one and a lamb one. But True, yeah. Yeah, if the chicken one's 10 cent, that's going to draw them in. That's like to sucker them in. Very good strategy. That's what supermarkets do with their chicken, their roast chicken. That's why it costs like five dollars at Costco or whatever supermarket you have near. Because it doesn't cost them much, but it brings you into the supermarket mm. where you spend money on other stuff. All right, here we go. Bread shop. Get some amazing deals on food here. All right, are you working from home at all this week? I am not, but I could. A lot of my jobs got cancelled, sadly, but um, is that right? That's what happens when you do events and stuff. When there's no events. Yeah. I mean, you can't, people can't even go to work. Forget having events. Oh, this camera's hard to hold. All right, so we're back here in the Snack Street. Um, so to help you get your bearings, this is the uh, Shao K1 MTR station, and then we're back here at the snack snack street stalls. Actually, I've never been a real fan of egg waffles, to be honest. Really? Well, then we should not get them because I've had these about five times. Uh, what are you a fan of them? Ice cream? I don't know. I, I don't hate them. I just never like have a craving to go and get them. I you know. See. Like whereas some people like are like, oh, there's an egg waffle store. We have to get one. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, everything on this street is delicious. Food. I feel like these are these are the magnets because they're right, right, right outside of the MTR station. Yeah. I mean, it's good. This guy is probably getting a lot of walkthrough traffic. Exactly. Just by having these guys next to him. Uh -huh. You know? And he can price however he wants to. Yeah. Well, not however he wants to, but he can price a little higher. It's like shopping malls. They really want to be able to have um, an Apple store or a uh, Ikea or something in them because that brings a lot of people there. Just having that flagship store. And why is it that IKEA has a cafe in the middle of their store? Uh, I guess it's to get you to stay longer in the store, right? That's right. When you get tired of shopping, you take a rest, you think about what you're going to buy, and then you're revitalized, rejuvenized. Yeah, and then you buy more, more stuff. And then plus they get to sell IKEA food to people, so they make another, that's another sale that they've made. Oh, uh, yeah, so I don't mind getting some egg. egg do you, do you egg want egg waffles, waffles or do you want some Do they else? make different flavor ones? I think it's just one. It's not one of those fancy ones. Oh. Yeah, it, it's not that, I mean, I've had it so many times, it's, it's delicious, but... I think we should get it. I mean, we'd be talking about it. Can, yeah, yeah. And let's, then, like, the two go. people that watch this video are going to be so disappointed. That's true. That's if we true. don't actually get it and try it. All right, so let's get it. Uh, let's do the whole... I'm more keen to... I think we should do both. We should do the ice cream and the egg waffles. All right. Let's do it. By the way, uh, I'm going to avoid the ice cream because the lactose... Oh, no. It will get me. I see. And not in a good way. <laughs> in a very uncomfortable way. All right, a lot of people waiting. 
And here we are. You egg. don't have a dollar oh, by accident. Uh, by I, actually, I think I do. I think I've got like just a dollar. I think I want original Hong Kong. Right, here's their business egg. hours. Monday to Sunday, 1 p.m. to 9 o'clock. So they close at 9, which is kind of early for this stuff. I would say so, It's yeah. not like a late night kebab sort of deal. But here's their menu. They do do fancy stuff. Do you want one of the fancy ones? Look. Uh, salted egg yolk. $32. Original plain okay, vanilla. Let's, let's let these guys. Twenty one. Uh, uh, no, you can go first. We're the last. Go first. Sorry. Yeah, you can go, you can go first. We're just looking at the menu. He knows what he wants. Um, so, have you tried salted egg yolk? I love salted egg yolk. Would you like a salted egg yolk? I would. I would. Let's try that. Have you ever had it? No. All right, so we're so going we're for the extra fancy thirty-two dollar salted, salted egg yolk egg waffle. Oh. oh, and you can pay by octopus. Yeah, I like Very that. Very convenient. This is the octopus. Ooh, but golden I, Hong Kong. Hong Kong had this like twenty-five years or thirty years ago or something crazy, and I thought it was so convenient. It was like one of the first to have an electronic payment system that was ubiquitous. All right. Oh, and uh, celebrities come here to eat too. Look, this guy, Chow Yun Fat. Although he's not fat in this one. <laughs> Master Low Key Food Shop. All right. We haven't ordered yet, have we? She's Hi. making them. Salted egg yolk. Yes, please. Yes, please. Pata tong. And here comes the payment. On your phone, too. Yeah. Thank you. So and what we, we got get here? A, we get an order number. Uh, and now we'll we slow have down on that. Let me get this. So $32. And that's all the information. If you want to call them. You got to wait for number 256. What are we on? Um, we're on, we're gonna... behind all of these people. They even have a TV screen to show how good they are. Are they like celebrities? Josh, right? I think what we need is a drink. Yeah, could do. What do you think? So, um, obviously very popular store. They're very proud of their um, celebrities eating here. Uh, I have no idea who they are, but um, you might. Someone might. You might leave a comment there. All right. They, they, uh, I was saying they're very proud that they have celebrities <laughs> eat here. That they've even uh, yes, put a TV are. screen just to show that. Although they really should rotate it to portrait if they're going to do that, right? I think so. Because I think this was all done by cell phone. But the, yeah. yes, they could have done portrait. But like, the screen is so much smaller. Anyway, just the things, things videographers, um, so you can maximize your uh, impact impact from the screen if they were to... You are absolutely yeah, right, yeah. Things videographers notice. Josh, what else should we get to go with the egg waffles? Should we get some skewers? Oh, lights are on. Um, yeah, it could do. These are the Hong Kong type skewers, so... A lot of octopus, and then we have that stuff. Uh, curry fish balls. All right. Anything? Anything look good? I reckon. This place here might be good. There's a lot of people, that's for sure. Oh, that think? guy's got the same peak design set up as me. Ah. With the little strap. What about uh, Indonesian satay? Or Korean? Or something down that street? Uh, yeah, maybe something down that street. 
Candy. I never really liked satay. I think the key ingredient, key ingredient being peanuts. I don't, I don't know. I've never liked satay. I also think satay, roadside satay, is different than proper satay. Um, better or worse? I believe taste-wise, maybe better for you, perhaps worse. Oh, I also realized how healthy curry is in that... Curry is healthy? Yeah, in that like most of it is like vegetable ah. and the spices are actually probably good for you. Actually, there's a lot of oil in it too, but arguably that it's not that bad. But like spices and stuff have a lot of uh, phytonutrients and stuff that we don't actually understand that well. But Are we looking at curry right now though? A lot of that stuff is important for your body. Oh, some sort of fish. I can't read that. Mala fan. Oh, so, mala, mala. So that's um, Beijing roast duck for fifteen dollars. No. Yeah. No way. You can't get roast duck for that unless it's like that's what it says. Right? A portion of it, really. Yeah. I would like to see that. That's the menu. Roast duck. That's right. Surely it's like a segment of a duck, right? Yeah. But I, I it's uh it's like a it's like a pancake, right? It's like a roast duck pancake. Oh, okay. how long this will be yeah I mean all these people are here already so I'm assuming that they're in front of us I think so too which means we're gonna have to wait for them to leave until ours is ready why is this 15 15 dollar Beijing roast up place not so popular let's see what the outcome is let's see what they give us or give them yeah because people are, I mean, the it's value It's like a pancake, there. you see? It's like a pancake. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So it's not a whole roast duck. Yeah, it's a pancake. It's a pancake with pieces of roast duck in it. it and worth a try is for mostly $15. Pancake. Mostly flour, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, but um, $15 for a snack these days. It's pretty like good. A hot snack that's been handmade in front of you while you wait. It's pretty good. Do you want to get one? Uh, yeah. Should we? And go, sorry, Gayloy. Hi, that. Surely it's not, we're not ready now. 30 minutes? 30 minutes? Oh no. Man, this place is... Well then. So popular that I think 30 minutes. We should maybe even think about a restaurant before that. Though. We could eat a whole proper meal and then come back yeah. and eat. <laughs> what do you want to do, Josh? Um, should we go explore that street now? Yeah. But 30 minutes is a bit of a rushed meal. Okay. But we could also order more food and eat ghetto style in the park. Could you? Why don't we do promenade. that? Where do you yeah. want to get? Wow. Okay. So oh, we you know what we should do? Here. Why don't we go to that place that, that has the, the the box uh the box meals? Oh, okay, the three for one. Yeah, I kind of don't want to eat that. Um, well, let's find the most popular why. one down this lane. We'll grab some samples and then we'll come and eat in the park. Okay. And maybe a couple beers too. Sounds like a good idea. And this is all uh, COVID restriction compliant. I believe so. <laughs> I would hope so. I think if we're in a group of two, we're not breaking any uh, Hong Kong fine, laws. Right? Maybe even four. I don't know what they're up to now. I think a group of two should be okay. I'm very paranoid about this. Uh, very contagious, but also very mild um, Omicron uh, variant. 
Where in other countries, it's almost, yeah. what, 50% infection they, they rate la- outside Africa? Yeah, but they laugh at it. Yeah. Other they countries, laugh they laugh at it. And um, this they is didn't no do anything. laughing matter in Hong Kong. No, not in Hong Kong. No laughing matter. This is serious. That's why I call it the OMG. Oh my God, Akron. Scary stuff. All right, Josh, your choice now. Um, all right. Well, I do multitask very badly, so I actually haven't taken too much notice of what there is to eat. Is the crayfish hideously expensive? Because it... Crayfish? What crayfish? It feels like it's been an interesting thing to eat because you don't usually eat that, but then it'd be very difficult to eat oh, as well. Oh, it's here. Yeah. It's not expensive. Nothing here is expensive. Yeah, actually, pretty reasonable. I love all this spicy food. I saw the crayfish before. Is there anything there? I can't read that. Uh, uh, yeah, so number A is the... I think they're all crayfish. <laughs> Boiled fish, maybe. Boiled fish? <laughs> yes. What's, what's your recommendation? Uh, my recommendation is everything is okay. Ah, <laughs> I, I, I like it. Everything is good here. Yeah. That's what they all say. All right. Uh, Cold noodles? Yeah. How are we going to eat it though? Uh, I guess they give they give us knife and fork and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always eat the spicy stuff, by the way. Excuse me. What do you take, take the video uh, for what? Oh, we're just doing my YouTube blog. It's, YouTube? Yeah. It's a YouTube blog. But no one watches. Don't worry. It's, <laughs> Thank you. Could you please? Take, take more money so many people uh, uh, pick uh, can, yeah. I can, but no one watches it. It's very Thank sad. You. Yeah. No one watches my channel, even yeah, though I put a lot of something effort. Something important thing is, Sai is here. Sai is here. <laughs> yeah. Sai is here on this very yeah. famous street. Can you introduce yeah. our restaurant yeah. name? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Can you tell us the name of the restaurant? Mala Sisu. All right. Oh. If you heard that, um, you should come and try it. Well, we'll maybe we'll try some. Oh, we have to now that we. So it's it's Sichuan, yeah. Oh yeah, yes. I always I always eat Sichuan stuff. You like Sichuan stuff? Yeah, I had okay. a Sichuan girlfriend for a while. Oh, uh, Oh, Oh, yeah. So so basically, they're gonna make something for us, and then we can. All right, but you better tell them that no one watches my channel. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool, yeah. What, what, what would you like to eat? Um, Cold noodles? What should we get? Uh, that's actually my favorite. I, I can always eat that. Oh, you have any cold noodles? Can you add a little Okay. This is your first one. We can add the... Uh, chicken for you. Ah, so oh, we're right. going to do cold noodles, noodles with a little bit of chicken because this Josh likes this one. Okay, yeah, that's my favorite. I always eat that. He likes this one. Yes, it's a little bit of water. Okay. Let's get a little bit of water and water. What's that? Let's split it. Okay, let's split it. So what are we getting? So we're going to get a combination of the cold noodles mm-hmm. and a little bit of the uh, spicy chicken. All right. Okay. Well, uh, I actually eat this a lot, so I don't know if it's any good. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do it then. So do you know what she just said? She said no. uh, that you really know how to choose them because these two items uh-huh. are their most popular. Yeah, most yeah. popular in our shop. That's how you can tell if they're good or not. Mm. So, uh, all right. Well, that's I, what I we'll think get. I think we should we should get a little bit. Uh, you can do this at home. Can you? No problem. Translation. Uh, so when they're gonna make them, when they're gonna make them, we uh, we get a little bit of a, a footage of that. All right. Well, let's. All right. Cool. This is very nice and friendly. Usually I'm. Usually I'm used to people telling us to not film in Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, the la- like the last video. Is, is that them? Uh, I didn't see the faces. 
But yes, um, my ex girlfriend Shun was that is actually in the last video. Uh, I think the last one, yeah. Um, it's not up yet, but you will be able to see. I went to visit her. You went to visit her. Yeah. <laughs> went to visit her where? She went. She now lives temporarily in Peng Chao Island. So she I went was in over. Peng Chao, really? Yeah. Let's see. So we went to have a look at her little island. Oh, translation? Um, she is making a very special dish for us. Oh, right. Um, oh, this one is for this lady. Oh, that's not oh, ours. Not okay. for it, but for this lady. But the next one is ours. Uh, yeah, next one. Lady first. Ladies first. <laughs> yes. As it should be. So, um... The flavor malat is very important in Sichuan cooking. Um, it's the numbing pepper. It's the numbing pepper. Yeah. That's right. Um, this is the signature flavor, right? And it's like one of the only foods in the world that uh, has this property where it will... It, it, it's almost like an anesthetic, like a local anesthetic. Um, it makes your tongue not be able to... It makes mm -hmm. it numb. It's also... It's what, known we as ordered numbing. Too, what we ordered too. Um, in Chinese, it's pronounced ko shui ji, but that translated in English means saliva chicken. Oh yeah. I'm oh. not sure it's uh, correct. Hao <laughs> shui gai in, in Canton, Cantonese. We should start a Chinese channel since we've got the, the Mandarin, the Cantonese. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah. Alright, I'm getting tired holding this. It's your turn. I find it really good to grip the lens actually. It's autofocus, right? Yeah, it's all autofocus. Yeah, Alright, well, you better film the making. Yeah, can you come in and No, no, shoot? no, it's okay, I'll film from here. You can reach? Yeah. Come here, the angle is better. Um, so let me uh, commentate what she's doing. She's putting like one of everything in there. Uh, peanuts, uh, chili oil, vinegar, there's chicken stock powder, uh, there's malat, uh, spice, coriander, what else? I can't see anything else. And then it's all mixed up and put into a bowl. Jelly, no? Done. Ah, like a box lunch. This is what? A malatang. Ah, that's beautiful. Hold on. Authentic. Ah, authentic the kosher So this is very authentic. Very authentic saliva chicken. And then I think what we have is uh Yes. Yeah. Oh sure. Uh, go to I've got two, but this one is called uh, Josh's Pardon? video diary. J O S H. Oh, let's see. Yeah, diary. Okay. Uh, how do you do enter? That's me. Oh. So, uh, I don't know. How do you subscribe? No. Uh, yeah. And then if you go look at my photos, uh, that's the last stuff we did. Four days. Yeah, I do. This one? Right now I'm doing, that's my kitchen. I'm doing one every day, so. Your kitchen? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Thank you. So, look at that. Thank you. So, Josh, Josh is, you are Josh. Yeah, I'm Josh. Okay. So that's my YouTube channel. See, this is the third uh, subscriber I've had from filming. In yes. fact, I get more subscribers walking around filming than YouTube give me. 
but actually, you should check out my real channel. But it's really. Uh, it's really cringy. Uh, I do music. Very badly. Uh, Sean, you better explain to me the concept of juice. Because I don't know if. Um, you know, even people from the West don't get it. Juice? Like, what's the concept of juice? Yeah. Oh, this is MV. He's going to play MV. But, um, not just MV, like cringy. But this is all, for example, a joke. A joke? Yes, 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 yes. We are talking about COVID. Do you want to take this footage? Yeah, sure. This is a cross-promotion for my two different... It's really funny. That's me, yeah, and I sing and stuff, so... And then maybe... How long we can eat the channel? This will be up in less than a week um, because I need to edit it and stuff. Okay. Well, this is 4K, the 4K, I so it needs to it needs to process it. Then I don't really edit. Chair, 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 chair. But yeah, so uh, you have to wait a week. But yeah, it, it'll be up there. A week later. Yeah, I'm very fast. Most okay. people take two months or half a year. I'm not kidding. Okay, we wish. We can watch the video and the YouTube. Yeah, as all right. Do you want to do you want to say hi? What are your names? Hi, hello. Your names? We are Mala Xishi. All right, <laughs> and um, that's the logo. And yes. you guys are in Shao Kei Wan. Yes. All right. Well, we're gonna eat the food, and I give a review. Okay. Thank you. So uh, thank you very much. All right. Please take this menu. So, very, very, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, this is we This is a little bit of a little all oh, right. How much are they charging us? Thank you. You get a big discount today. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Wait. And uh, send me a message on YouTube. Just say hello. <laughs> okay. We see Malasasi. You know, it's your WhatsApp. Yeah. 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 Uh, what's the ad? What's that? Uh, you can give him yours. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Ja, 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 call. Five, five, six. Josh. Uh, not me. I'm Sean. Ah, get, get from Sean, cause. Uh, his or mine? This, this, this is mine. Ah, this is mine. Sean. Uh, all right. Give us a few, and we can uh, eat it and review it. Ha ha ha. Look. 说到了你们是住在旧不近吗我是住在铜锣湾里面嗯你们来香港多久了来了好多年了好多年了十多年了真的几年啊八年你是哪里人呃我我是在北京出生的美国长哦可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可以可
Right now it's left Shanghai and it's probably on a container truck heading to Hong Kong. It's on a container truck? I guess. I don't think they'll ship it by air. Uh, and Apple say it will arrive on the 19th. Um, I wonder if the same people are here. I uh, don't know. But uh, I don't think it's been half an hour yet, right? I'm going to ask anyways. Two, five, six? You bought some so Two thirty. Not even close. Not even close. Oh, okay. Looks Where like... should we go? Should we go to the park? Looks like we'll hunt some more food, eh? Oh, we need to get the beers, so why don't we do that? We can get beers, sure. Where should we go? To get the Not beers. much around here. Let's go this one. Let's go this one. Uh, 7-Eleven, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the battery performance on the, this camera is actually pretty amazing. Really? I'm on 52% and I film for 55 minutes. Is that usually, is that usually, um, that would drain a whole battery? I mean. So I've used half a battery to do an hour. So that's pretty good. They and used this to is not all last 4K? Look at the size of it's this. It's all coffee. 4K. Uh, 30? That's very high quality. 442, 10 bit. Wow. I actually don't know what a lot of that means, but that sounds pretty good. So I'm going to love it. Oh, right. So 7-Elevens are very ubiquitous in Hong Kong, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, that's right. Like every freaking corner, there's a 7-Eleven. And it used to be a uh, jewelry store by um, the red one. Forgot the name. It's a beautiful little Shiba dog. All right, I might actually get a sip sip drink. Like uh, Mr. Juice, what would you like? And uh, let's see here. Ooh, craft tea, that looks nice. Well, these are a bit of a bargain, isn't it? Six dollars for a Coke. Yeah. Like coffee blend. Sure. I actually had one of those before I came. What is this? Craft tea looks nice. Oh. And they do serve alcohol at 7-Eleven. It's something I don't think they do in Australia, but they might have changed that since I left. Anything uh, you fancy over here, Josh? Or do you uh, want to look at the beers back there? I'm going to be cheap and flag the Coke for six dollars. All right. But uh, flag it. So let's see if there's any other options. We'll flag because that. there and is a these. whole entire another fridge this way. Uh, beers. Nine dollars for a beer. That's quite good, isn't it? What's that? Nine dollars for a yeah, beer. Yeah, but it's a Sonderberg. Yeah, Very but good. like, 7 Eleven don't sell that. Yeah, cheap, but look at though. these. Two for 16. If you want a decent beer. Should we get beers? We can get, yeah. Let's get a couple beers. What's a decent I'm, beer? I'm fine with Qingdao's. I like Qingdao. Okay, let's do it. Because we're in Hong Kong, so we're going to do the China beer. Qingdao. Beers. Uh, do they big, have the big one? Um, I only have a little one. Hey, do you want a big one? There's two big ones. Okay. Which is better, the Singtao? No, no, no. These are better than these. These, these, these are the low-grade ones. Oh, really? Believe it or not. So I was looking at these big ones, but Sean says these two. I was looking at, but Sean says these are better. I think they are. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll have one of them. Okay. Two, one. Two. Let's go. Hello. Yo. Uh, I'm good. Yes. Why are you you? Oh. So I give them my, my membership first. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
You see, this guy's all electronic payments. All electronic. 100% electronic. So annoying to have those heavy circular bits of metal in your um, wallet. And I, we've seen Sean's wallet. Doesn't even have a pocket for him. Oh, I, I've got a better wallet now. Well, I have Do a you? I have a cash carrying wallet this time. Huh? Second video, and you got a different wallet. Nice, but still no coin pocket, right? Still no coin pocket. I really despise coins. All right, I reckon we should go to the park and eat some of this before it gets cold. And then, and then come back for the for uh, the world's slowest egg waffles. Yes, and then we can take that to the water. How about that? Um, how far is the water? I want to reduce my walking, but... It's probably 10 minutes. But I don't think we're going to have the egg waffles for a while. All right, let's go then. Okay. This is going to be a three-part video. I guess. Um, so, Shao K1, yet another park area. Oh, hard to swap hands on the camera. There we go. I wonder. Here's here's the plan. Here's the plan. Okay. Spaceship. Um, if they say like a little longer, we can go to the water and then come back. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go ask them. Yeah. So, are you actually going to edit the other video? Because your parents have seen it, so there's no point editing it again to save them time. They've already seen it. But don't you... I was going to edit it because you don't have time to edit. But uh, what you should actually do is edit it. No, I don't want to edit. I, no. I, like, I like hitting record and then just filling in like a whole hour with commentary. I mean, I, think, I really think that's a skill in itself. Like, being able to not have um, silences. Being able to talk for an hour and have usable footage. I've seen so many YouTube channels where the guy cuts, there's a, there's a cut like every 10 seconds because he can't say a sentence properly. Do you know what I mean? There's like a jump cut. Yeah, no, I hear you. He's reviewing a product and there's like 10 cuts in 10 seconds. Every single word he's cut. I, I think that guy needs to set up a channel like this and practice uh, commentary. That's a good point which is exactly what this uh, channel is about. Me and maybe Sean practicing being in front of camera. All right. I'm trying to read, trying to read this. Oh, they have this, the street address too, if you want to find it. Hey, 26. I wonder if ours is up there. They right? might have it now. Yeah. If they're in sequential order. Oh. oh, it's coming. I guess I'll film. So there are one, two, three, four, five egg waffle pans. Um, and uh, all five of them look like they're being used. So they are at max capacity. The other business idea is to do a fast egg waffle place. <laughs> and I think just they have, have those already though. Just have like those are 30 made, of them. Okay? Is it? Yeah. Well, you could remake them, but you want them fresh and hot out of the That's true. Thing. So, but you can't have best of both worlds, can you? Well, yeah, you can. You just need more egg waffle irons. You need 50 of them. And as soon as someone books it, Oh, I see what you Put mean. it in and you're not limited by your bottleneck, which is the amount of pans. Make sense what I'm saying? I'm listening to the orders. I'm listening to the order numbers. I still have to translate these in my head. We are Yi Ba I'm going to put this guy right next to China. Yeah. Um, I, I think most people should know Charyon Fat. Maybe the third most famous Hong Kong actor of all time. Who's two and one? Well, have a guess. I would say number one would be Jackie Chan. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Uh, I would and put then him number, at two. number two. No. No, there's another guy that goes. Watch out! Jet Li. Uh, oh my there. gosh! Oh, currently living or. Uh, no, of all time. Of all so time. they could be dead. 
Well, he gets wouldn't you say he's more famous than than than, than uh, yeah, but in terms of people that are alive today, knowing... I would say... More people would have heard of Jackie Chan that are alive today, Of all right? time, though, of all time. So, so that means people who have perhaps deceased. So this is of all time. I think he's got a much bigger fan base. Who? Who? Bruce Lee has a much higher... Oh, yeah. I thought you said something. I thought you said someone else. No, no. Um, but according to people today, if we were to ask someone on the street, would they say Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee? They would say Bruce Lee. But it also depends on how old they are. Like anyone born after Bruce Lee may not have heard of him. Because mm. like, seriously, who's seen, who's actually seen Bruce Lee's movies? I haven't actually watched. I actually haven't watched any of Bruce Lee's movies. Like you have start to finish, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I haven't seen any start to finish either. Yeah, see? <laughs> I've seen like 80% of Jackie Chan's ones. So that's a number. That's a consideration. So who is the number one? I think we should look at how how would we actually answer this question? Like we should do it via data. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it you can skew the data. So you have to say people living today and what ages and who you're going to sample. So I think young people would side of Jackie Chan more. Oh yay! Here we go. Thank you. Oh, there you go, man. Oh, do we need bag? Yeah, let's go bag. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. But we need to show how the bag works. No, 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 we do not need a bag. Oh, let's save, let's save, let's save. Someone wants to solve, uh, uh, save the dolphins. I love saving dolphins. Yeah, but I wanted to show how the bags work and why you need it. Why would you need it, though? Um, I guess... Anti-COVID? The paper bag is not good enough for some reason. Maybe it disintegrates. Would you like to take a bite? Ah, uh, sure. Let's do a fresh one. Okay. My so hands we can are do not the masks clean. Off. I hope this is compliant with the uh, COVID regulations. Do you want to use your? Yeah, I should also sterilize my hands first. But um. Oh well. I am fully immunized. Are Me you? Too. Me so... too. Okay. Here we go. Oops. Um, they are very conveniently um, sized for like mm. a single bite, mm -hmm. kind of like a bite of sushi. That's my, that's my first thought. So it's a good size. It's like half a, the size is like a third or a half size of a sushi, but just enough to be a good bite. Um, I really like that you chose the. Um, I really like that you chose the sea salt. Very oh, very uh, interesting. It's not sea salt, it's salted egg. Oh, salted egg. I thought it was sea salt. No, but did you order sea salt or did you order salted egg? I think it was salted egg. Oh, because okay. there was no... I thought I read sea salt. Must have been salted egg. Um, okay, so what I like about this is it's actually crispy on the outside. Uh, the inside is quite... soft? Mm -hmm. Would you say soft? Mm -hmm. It definitely like, hits both of the spectrums of... I don't know if you can Crispy see because, like, I'm sort of one-handed doing all this. This would test out how good the stabilization is on the Sony. But um, you can see it's 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 got a shell that's crunchy, and the middle bit is actually quite soft. Um, that's quite nice. No wonder it's a a comfort food for many people. Mm. Hi, hi, how are you? How are you? How are you? Want to make a high Bye bye. No one is a comfort food for people because um, it's sort of like chips, but it's it's hot and it's uh, chewy. So it's like hot chips plus crisps all in one. Quite delicious. Does that make sense? Quite delicious. Crisps meaning the ones in a silver packet usually, foil line packet. Um, and hot chips meaning like those fat potato chips that you get out of an oven that someone fries and they come out hot.